I mean, it's kind of weird on the eyes in the peripheral. Yes. Okay. Oh my god! Yeah. Whoa! Go. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so here we are at UCL, and yeah, this, Peter, tell us a bit what what this is, what you do, and, and where okay. we are. <laughs> so this dome is our artificial sky, and as you can look around, you can see we've got about 800 little light sources, and the nice thing is that we can program them to give them any particular amount of light we want, and so by doing that, we can represent any general sky distribution that you're likely to ever have. And so, if you're designing a building and you want to make sure that the daylight gets in in the way you want, then this is a really good tool. You can put a small model in the middle and we can see how it all works. But before we go into all of that, let me tell you a little story about how we got here. You see, I went on a trip to Italy in Sardinia where I took a boat ride to go scuba diving. There were tons of amazing sights and beautiful animal life. However, it was this little lighthouse that caught my attention. The one right here. And I wanted to make an exact replica of the building for the diving center to hold their business cards. So I took a picture of the lighthouse and modeled it in Autodesk Fusion 360. This is a computer-aided design program where you extrude 2D sketches into three-dimensional objects. I then saved it as an STL file and brought it into my slicer software for my 3D printer. This splits up the object into hundreds of lines and tells the printer where to go. The printer will heat up PLA filament, basically it's the same material as fishing line, which is kind of ironic, and extrude it out at 190 degrees Celsius. There's a variety of different filament colors, but I ended up painting the whole thing over again just to get rid of those lines that are created. This was printed with 20% infill, and the whole thing took about five hours. Okay, so we have our lighthouse, and it's all working and looks beautiful. This button on the back is gonna hook up for the battery here to turn on the LED, and then all we need to do is I wanna make the bottom of this all cork so that it looks good. So let's epoxy it up and then we'll be good to go. I found that Gorilla Glue epoxy works best when trying to attach materials to 3D printed objects. The two part epoxy may heat up a little bit, which actually helps the PLA stick better. It also reinforces the outer shell. So if it falls, hopefully it won't break. I then cut away all of the excess, sanded it, and carefully removed the box that would hold the 9 volt battery. Alright, now let's get back to University College London and test out these shadows in the artificial sky. Here's our lighthouse, and let's just take this all the way back into our dome. Every question you ever had about daylight, we've got to find you an answer here. Uh -huh. Have you found any answers here that CAD design and the computers kind of, we know that they can do a lot, but something that we may have overlooked or not have noticed? Well, the nice thing here is that we can change things instantly. So if you've got a building and the window's not performing the way you want, or you've got an odd patch of light, in this thing you can hold your hand in front of the window and the, the patch disappears. In a computer model, you can do the same, but it's a it's a day's work, not three seconds. Right, right, perfect. Wow, wonderful. Well, let's get this model going and see what kind of shadows and lights we're going to be able to create with the lighthouse. Yes, on average, this is about three percent. Ah, three? Three. Okay, this is three uh, <laughs> percent. I I am really excited to see what forty percent looks like. <laughs> Some people uh, don't really don't like it. Some some. Uh, I mean, it's kind of weird on the eyes in the peripheral. Yes. Okay. Oh my God! Yeah. Whoa! Go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what is this? That was forty percent. Yeah, we're dimming now. Boy, I do have to say that I look pretty good in 40% in light when you're completely flushed out, you oh, know? Yeah, yeah.
This represents the sun. Here, where it's kind of nice. Right to the east, we've got the sun coming from the southwest. And the shadows on top, right? Now let's go back to the day of uh, when I was, let's see. Yes, I was in Sardinia. A little bit of shade from the shadows yeah, of exactly. where the building looked very, very little. So you didn't have the LEDs obviously before. No, no, what we did was each one of these was a much bigger yeah. circular light fitting. Okay. And then you just readapted them for three LEDs on so it? Three LEDs, we got some plates made where the lights used to be. Yeah. And Bluetooth control on these so that we can and, adjust and them. It's easy digitally. because these are all controlled in Bluetooth. <laughs> like knowing every single panel for every single light, how did, that, how that did who, who was the organizer of all of this? It had to be somebody very methodical. Well, we, we did have to be very methodical. <laughs> well, it, took, it took you about two weeks to work out where yeah. these were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah in, in angular terms from the middle, yeah. it took about two or three weeks to work out where every light source was. And, and these little silver mirrors on here, we had our laser bouncing off of those and back into the middle of the room so we can make sure that they're all pointing right to the center. God, so that was all done manually. you got to have this perfectly like yeah. where it's going to be. Yeah. So yeah. You, uh, you, you would shoot a laser from the center. Yeah, yeah, from the center and then you get behind it and just try and aim it back at the center of the room and then you'd know it was, you know. You know that this was the spot. Yeah, yeah. So X so marks the spot. Yeah. Exactly. So that when the laser goes back on itself, you know everything's 90 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> and you did this for every single panel. Yeah, yeah. so. so <laughs> you start at the top and work down so you don't pick any of them when you're uh, oh. already done. <laughs> okay. And did you find that out the hard way? Uh, no, well, no, we, we, I think we, 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 thought, we thought about that. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Well, thank you to UCL for making this project even more amazing and showing what the properties of the shadows and basically what the lighthouse was on the exact day that we modeled it up and was scuba diving in Sardinia. Um, we're gonna send this to Sardinia and hopefully they can use it as the card holder that it was intended for, but also have an understanding of what UCL does and can make with this great facility. Cheers, thanks guys.